No deal on the debt ceiling between President Biden and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, but McCarthy called the latest meeting between the two men productive. Meanwhile, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen affirming a week from Thursday as the earliest date that the U.S. could be at serious risk of default. Joining us right now with lessons from the debt crisis of 2011, former Obama White House Chief of Staff Bill Daley, of course, also the former Commerce Secretary. He's now Wells Fargo Vice Chairman. Uh, but, Bill, let, let's put on your hat of Chief of Staff and, and try and look at this right. from a, just a practicality matter. What, what needs to happen? What, what do you think is the most likely scenario and what's playing out behind the scenes? Look, I think what you're seeing play out with the meeting yesterday, the Speaker and the President, it is in both of their interests that this get resolved. They both said it. Um, Senator McConnell has said it. Schumer has said it. We're not going to default a week from Thursday. There is a little fudge after that, quite frankly. It's not as though on June 1st we go off the cliff. There usually is some play. But I think there is a, a desire on both sides, both for politics and economically, listening to Steve and listening to uh, Rick with the numbers. The thought of us causing an economic crisis because the politicians can't get together in this serious time for the economy and for the world would be absolutely crazy. So I'm optimistic, but with our politics being so divisive lately, we could stumble into a situation, at least a week of, of uncertainty uh, running up to this or a few days beyond June 1st which would, could have serious consequences to, for the U.S. economy. Is the problem with McCarthy and Biden that they don't want to do this, or is this a problem that no, no. neither of them can control their base? They're not strong enough to get well, the, their, their, yeah. their base in line. Look, at it. no one's going to get everything they want. And this is not when there is a deal at the end, and we've seen deals in 11, you've seen them in 13, 15, 17, 19, 21. It's not as though this never happens that there will have to be a lot of people disappointed on both sides. Speaker McCarthy will not be able to deliver every one of his House members, and the Democrats will not deliver all of them in either the House or the Senate, and it will have to be a compromise. And the extremes on both ends will be probably sorely disappointed. But that's moving the system forward. Uh, if everyone has to be happy, then you won't see it, and you'll see the American people and our economy, economy seriously impacted and a lot of unhappy Americans. But that's um, what I mean. And I mean if, they, the if they are not strong enough to be able to say, this is what we're going to do, and if the rest of my right. party doesn't like it, suck it up, well, how come they haven't done that to this point? Well, they, they, it's a negotiation. So you can't do that to you get to the crisis. One thing we know about Congress, they can never act until they're at the edge of the cliff. Uh, and that probably will be, if not next Thursday, shortly thereafter. So you need a deadline in Congress to get anything done, and the crisis and has to build. And we've seen this movie uh, too often, quite frankly. It's not exactly the way one should run a government, but it's the way it's been for the last number of years with this divided government, which we have, and the divisiveness of our politics. But I'm confident that it is both in the Speaker's interest, as he looks to try to get more House Republicans elected in 2024, he needs to go to those districts that he thought they were going to win last fall, and they didn't win, and he only got a majority of four or five or six or whatever it is. And on the Democratic side, in order to expand and try to do better, uh, they're going to have to show that they can govern uh, in this divided government. So I think it's in their self-interest. But uh, we've seen in the past the uh, ability of the system to stumble at times and call it cause a crisis. But both the president and the speaker, I think the fact that the president came back from his Asian trip, the speaker was willing to meet with him right away, is an extremely good sign. But uh, they still have to get a deal that they can sell to a majority of the House and the Senate. Not an easy task in today's politics. So let's put on your hat now as a Wells Fargo vice chairman. Um, mm -hmm. Equity markets haven't really <clears throat> budged on any of this. I think the expectation for most watchers is that something will get done. Where you have seen some activity is in the short-term treasuries and the T-bills here. Yields have been elevated, especially one, two, three months. That's where right. you've seen the real pressure. What are you telling investors? What would you say uh, in I terms of whistling through this? or? Right. No, I don't think so. I think there has to be serious concern, and Charlie Scharf and, and the entire team at Wells Fargo, has, he has directed all of us to be obviously sensitive, watch and make sure that we're engaged with our customers, 
to make them aware of what we feel is going on and be ready for, and we're very strong, obviously, financially, if there was to be a stumble uh, at, in this thing next week, end of next week or early the following week. But, but I think you're going to continue to see a ratcheting up of concern uh, next week. I think there's right now sort of a, a sense of, oh, they'll get this done. You know, we thought that in 11, too, but we had to go to the final hour to get a deal. And then we still got a downgrade after the fact that a deal was done because of the turmoil and the crisis sense that was going on. And that was, there were negotiations going on for months uh, in 11. Here you seem to have put this all together in the last 10 days, two weeks, with the president and the speaker getting together and then having an a Asian trip by the president, which took time out. Uh, but his negotiators have been engaged, and so has the speaker. Um, so I, I think, I think we there is reason to be concerned uh, as to the potential short-term impact if we do stumble into a a, a crisis at at the end of next week or early uh, the following week.